Hey kids, welcome to unit three, lesson five, enhanced for loops, exercise number one. We have a, what do you think this program does? Let's take a look at a code and make some guesses. We're importing our painter class up here. Looks like I'm creating a new my painter object out of the painter class. It has four variables for the constructor, X, Y, direction, amount of paint, then we're creating an array, paint colors. It's a string. Looks like it's storing white, purple, yellow, and green. I have what says for here, but this isn't like the for loop I know. We have a string. Looks like it's creating a variable color, a colon, paint colors, which is our array up here. Then we have our my painter object calling the paint method from the painter class and it's painting color or this variable that's getting passed down here. Then my painter is moving. Looks like my painter turns left. Then we have another for loop. This one looks a little more familiar, creating an index at zero. As long as the index is less than the paint colors length from above, we are going to have the my painter object paint whatever the paint color is at that index. Well, then it's going to move up one. And then it looks like we have an if statement in here just saying if the painter can move, move. And this looks like it's just saying keep moving until you can't. What do I think is going to happen? Well, I think we're going to create a my painter object at x5, y0, south 8. That's zero, one, two, three, four, five, facing south with eight units of paint. I think it's gonna paint white, purple, yellow, green. Then it's gonna move one more time. Then we're gonna turn left. Then I think we're going to paint white, purple, yellow, green again, and stop right there. I think this for loop is exactly like this loop down here. I'm fairly sure I've heard this called an enhanced for loop. And I think this is what this lesson is going to be about. I think you're going to see that these are going to work almost identical. When I hit run, pay attention to what happens and what colors are printed. Let's see if we're right kids. My painter object did exactly like I thought. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is identifying what an enhanced for loop is. And we're going to talk about this a lot in the upcoming exercises, but essentially it is exactly like a for loop. And we're going to use it when we want to go through every element of an array it really is gonna operate a lot like a regular for loop. It's just enhanced. And if you think about our while loop and our for loop, really our for loop was just like our while loop with a little less steps. This is the same thing we can say for our enhanced for loop. It is just like the for loop, just less steps. Why do we like less steps? Less chance of spelling errors. And if you've watched any of these videos, you know you're probably gonna make a ton of them. Hopefully this video helped you identify what an enhanced for loop is. As always, if you have any questions, kids, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.